a set to go back to the moon. The Indian Space Research Organization is leaving no stones unturned to return to the moon with Chandrayaan-3. The launch is scheduled for July 14th at 2.35 p.m. from SDSC, the payload fairing containing the lunar spacecraft has been installed on the LVM-3 and the satellite launch vehicle as well. That will launch it to the moon's orbit. After the partial success of Chandrayaan-2 in 2019, ISRO is retrying the mission with improved technology. In an interview with Weon, Dr. S. Somathan, the chairman of ISRO, explained the new updates installed in the mission. See, this time the orbiter is a propulsion module only. The propulsion part is retained in the orbiter, whereas the uh, instruments and payloads are not removed from that. Not required as it is there in Chandrayaan 2 already. So we could get gain some mass out of it, which is now allocated to the lander part for strengthening the lander, including its power generation capabilities enhanced, its landing legs are strengthened, its impact capabilities improved, uh, its propulsion is made uh, more uh, tolerant to failure, so more propellant is added, as such, and some instruments are newly added. So all this gave some heavy mass to the lander. So that is how we distribute the mass. The Chandrayaan-3 module is going to scale the 3, 8, 4, kilometer distance to the moon Aboard the LVM-3 rocket, the total payload weighs a staggering 3,900 kilograms. It's going to be deployed for 14 Earth days or one lunar day. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is comprised of three parts. They are the propulsion model, the lander module, and the rover module. The lander is named Vikram after ISRO's founder, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. And the rover is titled Pragan, which stands for wisdom in Sanskrit. All three models are fitted with state-of-the-art Indian technology. These indigenous scientific instruments are vital to study the moon. The propulsion module will take the mission up to 100 kilograms, kilometers that is, of the moon, after which the lander shall take over the touchdown on lunar surface. The propulsion model will use its shape instrument to look for similar ex exoplanets, that is, in reflected light. ISRO believes this will help probe into planets which would qualify for life outside of Earth. Once on the surface, both the lander and rover shall deploy Indian-made indigenous scientific instruments. The lander payload has four instruments which shall do the following. Measure the level of plasma on the lunar surface, measure thermal properties of the lunar polar region, measure seismicity around the landing site, understand dynamics of the moon system passively. And finally, ISRO will deploy its instruments to aboard the rover. The instruments will analyze the lunar uh, surf space and determine its mineralogical comp composition. If a, success, if a success, India shall join the sect, select group of nations comprising of the U.S., China, and Russia who put a spacecraft on the surface of the moon. And thus, the Indian space program is poised to display its strength and competency on the global stage if the mission succeeds.